Whew. Here we go. I haven't set foot in here since... Well... I'm ready. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Here we go. I got you, Nioka. You're ready. I'm ready. We got this. We got this. All right, a nice big bass bottle. Battle, sorry, lazy mouse. This is Lover of Ladies. Thank you for tuning in to this week's The Outer Worlds, where it's just me, Nyoka, and Parvati, ready to kick some ass out of avenging Nyoka's former buddies. Let's get to it. Hmm, okay, so nothing here, but then again, most likely the big Manta Queen is hiding somewhere. Probably a deep inside the cave. This game is giving me a lot of goodies, which means this is going to be a very tough battle to fight. And I'm not really looking forward to it, but you know what, I'm doing it for Nyoka, so... Wow, even... Wow. Adrilla time? Yeah, it's gonna be a crazy battle. I can feel it. Holy shit, there's a whole bunch of them. The dead bodies are still here. Damn, that could have been useful, but you know what? It's okay. I do not need it. Candy? Ooh, I got candy! Alright, so... You guys, you ready? I know I am. Let me see if I can get something out of here. Because they're definitely distracted with whatever they're eating, so. Ah, oh, this is where they slept. Is there anything in here that I can take, or? Nope, that's the entrance. Okay. Alright, well. Let's go. That's right! Uh-huh. That's it? I thought there was going to be some big boss battle. <gasps> Is that dead body? Okay, so this is where I'm going to put the glance, but first, I'm going to look around some more, because, you know, why not? Oh, no. The bodies are still here. That's the sad part. Okay, so let me see if there's anything in here. Nope. Nothing that I could take. So at this point, we're going to be ready for the big Manta Queen. Well, this is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and everything would be all right in the end. But I ain't. I'm mostly just... Empty. A little sad, maybe. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. I'm with you there. I hate that smell. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. 
It's not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, and there ain't anything you can do about it. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. You built all of this? This base? We hauled in steel, hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first, but for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. A teenager out here in the Monarch wilderness? Believe me, I had my complaints. She had a head for numbers, helped us trade hides for food and materials, negotiated contracts, turned out to be mighty useful. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and me. Six folks, one name, one family, Charon. Despite Monarch trying to kill us day in and day out, we managed to belong. I'm sorry they aren't here to see us kick some manty ass. Well, actually, let me do this one. You are a family. I'm sorry they're gone, Yoko. Me too, Captain. But I'm starting to think that maybe I found another. <gasps> now let's get to shooting before I get all sentimental. Oh, my God. It's so cute. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. Oh, shit. So that's the man situation. All right. We got this. We got this. Oh, you fucking whore. We got this, we got this. Hold on a little bit more, please. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck no. Oh, nasty. Careful. Everyone all right? Yeah. That was pretty crazy. Are you okay? Yeah, she's good. All right, well. I wish these were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. This bringing them together, burying them. This is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but that also makes it right. Captain, thank you. You're welcome, Yoko. You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd... I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. Of course, although I think you should hold on to the medallions. What? Why? Those painful memories, Captain. They help remind you of both the good and the bad, not just the bad. Huh. That's... that ain't a bad point. All right, Captain. Thanks. Okay, so we came back to the information broker so we can tell them the news about how no one is using the airwaves. So hopefully, he'll be pretty pleased with our work so far. Ooh, I didn't know these things were here. Of course I'm going to take it. Like, why wouldn't I not just have a grab at everything at this point? He ain't going to use it. All 
All right, let me behave. Let me behave. Hold on. Let's let's go and see here I am. Or where this guy's name is. Because I have something to do after this. And it's getting off of Monarch because this sulfur place is really getting into my nose a little too harshly. Do you hear that? It's the blessed sound of radio silence, which leads me to believe you have sweet, sweet news for me. MSI and the Echinoclasts are no longer transmitting. Is the data ready? Yes, indeed. I am back in business. But before we get down to it, might I ask how you handled the problem in the end? We did what we could as best we could. Should probably leave it at that. Yes. Hmm, is that so? I helped both MSI and the Iconoclast get what they want. I don't know how. The two are diametrically opposed and impossible to please. But it matters not how you fixed my problem, only that you did. I don't doubt that you are working with Phineas, but my contract specifies I relay any acquired information to the purchaser, and to the purchaser alone. However, to send the data, I will need your assistance in cycling the antenna's receiver so I can input the needed adjustments. Phineas doesn't trust many people. How would he hook up with you? You make it sound so scandalous. Phineas has been in hiding for the past 35 years. He got in touch with Nioka first, who I use as a physical go-between. The rest is history. Now you hold on. I do not physically go between anyone but that of my choose. Oh. Oh, apologies. You meant... Right. Yes. I braved the wilderness so you don't have to. Precisely. I really ought to give you a raise. You should. And I bet I have a whole new checklist of crap to do before it works, right? Oh, don't be ridiculous. We're resetting a broadcast tower, not filing taxes. There are no errands, spreadsheets, or rituals involved. It's simple, truly. I merely need you to waltz outside and throw the lever to cycle the power. I'll key in the numerical adjustments from in here. That's it? You're not pulling my leg? Someone has trust issues, though I can't hardly feign surprise. Yes, that is all. No, I am not mocking you. Much. Hmm. Just step outside, flip the switch, depart forever. Understood? Good. Marvelous. We're in agreement. This is why I stopped helping out around here, you know. It's always throw this lever, shoot that marauder, save my life. Just one thing after another with you. If that's really all, let's just get it done with and be on our way. Got it. Terrific. I'll be here. Waiting with bated breath. Give a shout if the panel electrocutes you. Where am I going? Oh. All right. Well, let's go to the relay. Oh, it's really just in the corner outside. Okay. Testing one, two, check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? Yes. We are a go for broadcast. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. Don't make me come back in there. There's no need to assert your dominance. I doubt I could make you do anything you don't wish to. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior. That's an but understatement. I must admit, I have grown rather fond of you. As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that? What's going on? What the hell? Whoa, that is not pretty. Black holes. Did you see that? The, the big ball of fire? No, totally missed it. Look, there's not enough room in this tower for two sarcastic hull heads, so one of us has to knock it off. Right. I reckon we both know who that'll fall to. Thank you. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. 
Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram. Hiram, are you there? Aw, it's a reunion. Group hug. Not without a physical contact waiver. Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. You're acting like children. Par for the course, really. You should do like I did. Get out while you still retain a shred of sanity. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot. I am definitely going to take a look to see exactly what is going on over there. So, Nyoka, Parvati, I guess we have another adventure to go to. Oop, oh, not that way though. Anyways, another adventure. Let's go! Wee! Okay, we are here at the ship that just crashed and already I'm seeing the MSI and the Iconoclast fighting amongst each other which is pretty annoying but nonetheless i'm going to take a look to see what happened here i'll keep an eye on things out here yeah uh me too you have fun captain really you're gonna leave me here high and dry shit come on oh well more for the taken i guess Okay, let me see here. Oh, I got the key. Nice. This MK4 gunship's operational perimeters have exceeded acceptable damage ranges. The cost of any repairs necessary at your nearest UDL repair facility will be overaged amongst the crew. See, he's saying something about spare, regular, bypass, something, something. Kushao, I'm turning this thing toward the groundbreaker. Firing up the engines and retiring. Better to be arrested than lose power and drift out into space. I just hope this old bird can handle one last trip. How in this law-forsaken colony is it so impossible to requisition parts? My chief engineer is barking at me to order yet another damn thing, and I can't even get a response from corporate. Another day, another ship lands on Terra 1, and we can't shoot them down. That makes... I've lost count. What's the point of being out here if we can't get some backup? Hello. My name's Jen. I'm the... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Sorry. Damn. I told him again and again that without fixing our regulators, spinning up the engines are going to blow through our coils and we'll go flying off in a completely random direction. Well, here we are. Thinking we'll hit soil in uh, about 30 seconds. This is your chief engineer signing off for what is probably the last time. It's a shame you can't see this metal finger I'm holding up. Because I'm doing it as hard as I can. I am so sorry, Jen. This could have been one of them, but she just went out flying. Alright, let's see what's in here. Fuck me, they just... It's all over the place. 
Yep, everyone's dead. I don't see any survivors. None at all. Oof. Okay, I guess I took it. Yep, I got it here. Ugh, let me see what's in here. Oh, I can't even open it. Okay. Well, I already know who I'm going to give it to. Um, as far as the answer to that, you'll probably see that in the next episode. All right, you guys. Let's head on out. Okay, so I lied. Apparently, when I was editing earlier, I felt like it was too short for me, so I'm going to milk in a few more gaming moments from here because, you know, I always like to keep my videos at a minimum 25 to 30 minutes, so... Alright, so I decided to give Sanjar this module because the Iconic class is already having a mess messy business. Especially since we found out that Graham is the one responsible for that whole attack back then. So I feel like they don't really deserve it, so. If the Iconic class reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the Iconoclasts. It's all yours. Excellent! At last, we have what we need. I wouldn't get excited just yet, sir. It looks like the Iconoclasts followed you. I have word they're gathering in the ruins outside of town. What now? I'm afraid we've got to fight them. They'd knock our walls down trying to get that module. Looks like this means... war. You have to say it like you mean it. She's right, sir. You don't sound very convincing. Well, I didn't ask for a performance review, did I? Mm -hmm. I'll lock the south gate to keep them out. You'll have to approach from the north. Good luck. Wait, I have... Oh, shit. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to do this. Damn, and I was ready to be besties with them, but you know what? <sighs> Just like in life, the people who you think are your side tend to backstab you. I don't want to do this, but you left me with no choice. Fuck me, man. Are you serious? I have to walk all the way over there? I don't want to fight anyone, bro. Ooh, damn. Okay. I mean, honestly, though... They were asking for it. I'm sorry. They really are. That's Bye. I'm sorry. I really am. I'm sorry. I don't like doing this, but... You guys should know better than this. The fuck you're calling an asshole, asshole. Run away, bitch. You think I like doing this? I really don't. Yo, who's that? Everyone okay?
Oh my god, this is gonna be long. I don't- I don't want to do this. I don't want to kill anyone, but... When push comes to shove, you just... Shit. I'm not gonna stand there and let them just... Fuck me up either, so... I mean, at least I'm getting a lot of good stuff to take. Shit! How much you want to bet Graham is behind this? Holy shit, they brought the big guys. Don't hurt my friends. I'm sorry, but you're not gonna hurt my friends. Shit. It's that shield, man. That fucking shield fuck. Wow, I got him. I just feel really bad. I really don't like this. I really don't. Oh my god. Can we just stop fighting, please? Can y'all stop? I don't want to hurt you. <gasps> no! I don't want to hurt her! Fuck! Alright. Can we stop? No! Fucking war! I don't even like this. I don't even like how it all ended, bro. Damn, Zara! Fuck me! Ah, oh, fine. Let's go report back to Sinjar. Like, I feel like this whole thing could have been avoided, but fuck it. You know what? Sometimes, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do at this point. You're back! <laughs> and in one piece! <laughs> Does this mean you? I, I mean we? One? We did indeed, sir. I can't believe it! Not that I'm really surprised, but... Well, maybe a little. You did it! I mean, we did it! I hope you use this opportunity to make the most of things for Monarch. Oh, I certainly will. Between our reinstatement on the board and the gain of this ship, we'll usher in a new age of prosperity for the people of Monarch. That's a hefty promise. You've got Monarch's hopes up, Sanjar. Don't go messing this up like our last overlords did. And, perhaps in time, I can use my position on the board to turn things around for the rest of Halcyon. They, can, they could certainly use someone with your eye for detail. You really mean that? That's the nicest... Celia, put that down in today's minutes. Already done, sir. Anyhow, thank you. And good luck to you. Wait, I wanted to talk to you about something what can else. I do for you? I met Grim, the landing pad guard. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? He did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? I gotta go. Thank you for watching this episode.
This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.